Be sure to subscribe, keep pounding, underscore TV, the best Panther YouTuber ever. I'm rocking with the big cat. Pause up. Keep pounding. What's going on? Christian Miller here, linebacker of the Carolina Panthers. Just want to give a huge shout out to Keep Pounding TV. Keep doing what y'all are doing. Appreciate all y'all's support. Everybody go subscribe right now to the YouTube channel, Keep Pounding TV. I'm rolling with the big cat. Hey, hey, everybody. I'm your host, Eric Renee Gato, also known as the big cat. My cool cat, but balls up. If you're rocking with the big cat today, we're here to talk about the Carolina Panthers, Marty Herney, Matt Rule, undecided when it came to the first round pick. Mm, we'll talk about it before we get started. Do you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers? Yes? No? Maybe. Do you love my squad, man? The good old days. If you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers, give them a kiss. And then give them a dab. Shout out to the good old days, man. God damn, I miss them. Today we're about Marty Herney, Matt Rule. Undecided at the top. What does this mean going forward? Let's get into it. Here we go. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe. Click that notification bell so you don't miss the video. If you're missing videos, you need to go down by the subscription button. Hit the little notification bell and turn it up to all so you don't miss a video or a live stream. Now. According to WFNZ earlier this week, Matt Rule and Marty Herney were on different wavelengths when it came to the first round pick. If you look up on the screen, according to WFNZ, they spoke with a uh, Carolina athletic reporter, Joe Persons, and he said, and I quote, I was told that Matt Rule was very open and eager to trade back in the first round. He wanted to add a couple more picks if they could find a sweet spot, maybe in the team somewhere. And that Marty Herney was like, kind of, you know what? Derek Brown is our guy. We're not moving. Close quote. Damn! G checked. He G checked him. He said, you know what, Matt? <clears throat> I respect what you did in college. You're a builder and all that shit, but I'm, I've been here for a while. I got seniority. Fuck what you're thinking. I'm, I'm, I'm calling the shots on Derek Brown. And again, let me say something. <clears throat> this is a problem going forward. We'll talk about that here in just a split second. But the real question I want to ask is, who's leaking this information? Now, we know Joe Persons from the Carolina Athletic reported the information, but who gave him the information? And why is it so significant now that we as fans need to hear about <laughs> arguments, <laughs> indecisiveness at the top, the same top that we're looking for to take us into championships years down the road? And year one is already riffs. Not a good look there. So, again, why are lips flapping instead of being sealed? Shout out to David Tapper because um, I'm not sure what happened, but my man turned G-H-O-S-T. He got the fuck on. He hasn't said a word, but, again, doesn't, doesn't really look good here. Now, second thing right here is I don't believe neither one of these decisions were wrong. You know what I mean? Trading back. To me, think about this. If we didn't have Derrick Brown, but we still got YGM, we still got Chen, we still got the guys we got minus Derrick Brown, but we turn around and got two stellar offensive linemen. Or let's say we got one stellar offensive lineman and then got a, a stellar cornerback to go what we got now. I think we'll be all right because this, this draft was loaded with defensive tackles. You know what I mean? My man Lynch, my man uh, uh, Brave Young Roy. You had my man uh, Black Locks that I wanted. You know, so again... I don't think either move would have been wrong. Uh, again, and Marty Herney has a history of nailing the first round picks. So if, and let's say this. If Derrick Brown turned out to be a bust, you can't really be mad at uh, Marty Herney because, first of all, it was a position of need. Not only was it a position of need, he was claimed to be the, the best player on the board at that position. So you can't get mad at him for that. You see what I'm saying? But uh, uh, this is a little troublesome. The reason why I say it's troublesome because it speaks of what Ron Rivera was saying before he got the fuck out of here. If you guys don't remember, Ron Rivera was talking about how he didn't really have control. Yeah. Shout out to Ron Rivera. When it comes to uh, the Rich Eisenberg interview, if I'm not mistaken, Rich Eisenberg interview, he was talking about when I go find me a new team. This is Ron Rivera speaking in the hypothetical. He said, when I find me a new team, I want to be able to have a team where an owner and, and a GM allows me to coach and have control of the roster, yada, yada, yada. So already, I know a lot of you guys are trying to call Ronnie, Ronnie boy crazy. You know what I mean? He don't know what he's doing. But already we're seeing residuals of some of the things that Ron Rivera was talking about. 
people stepping on people's toes. And I'm in the mindset of this right here, y'all. And, and, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. But, you know, Matt Rule has been drummed up to be a master builder. You know what I mean? If who can fix it? Bob the Builder. Matt the Builder. Yeah, listen. He's been drummed up to be all that and more. Why not allow him to have control of it? If he's this guy that can turn around a program and he says, you know what, I want to trade back get extra picks because I can make I can make water out of wine, let him do it. Let him do it. Let him do it. It speaks of one was pretty much saying, let's make this safe pick. Another one was like, you know, let's make a, a risky pick that could potentially pay off big in the future. It kind of looks like Marty was drafted for his job. It looks like Matt Rule was trying to draft for his future. Does that make sense? It was like, let's get some more picks for the future. Because he obviously knows that we got some rough sled in the head going forward this year. But Marty Herndon was like, fuck that. We need an impact player right now. So, I'll tell you this. Either way, we're more than one player away from being a contender. You know what I mean? It, it, does that mean Derek Brown, it, it, you know, is not going to come in here and be a beast? No, absolutely not. That doesn't mean that. But what I'm saying is, if you're looking for the future, ultimately, in building a team, more pieces make sense. You know what I mean? But again, it's, I'm torn, y'all. I'm torn. I'm split into. There's no wrong way to eat a cookie, like I said it before. So I can't get mad at either one of them. But back to what Ron said. I mean, what what the major problem is here? Lips are flapping. You know what I mean? That they should be sealed. Nobody should be leaking this shit out. No. Listen, we're fans. We don't want to hear that there's people at the top that we're trusting to take us to many championships in the future. Can't even argue, can't even get it together on a trap pick. We don't want to hear that shit, you know what I mean? We lose confidence that way. Let, let's, let's not do that. Keep that shit still. The second thing is this right here, man. I got to honestly respect the fact that, you know, the, the, the pick was made and I'm riding with my man Derek Brown. So I don't care if you don't like it or not, I'm riding with him, man. But it's a little fool for thought here and, and it's a little troublesome though when it comes to the management side of it. The management side is... You know what I mean? We, it's another example we can't get together. It's another example that Ron Rivera was talking about here, and that worries me a little bit. Because who's to say that going in the future, going into, uh, 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 let's say, week five, week six, you know, maybe Matt Rule sees a person out there he wants to make a trade for. And then Herney blocks it, or, or you know, maybe, I don't know, it's a, it's a lot of, a lot of sh undertone shit going on, man. And again, let me tell you something. A house without a strong foundation is bound to collapse. So if we're wavering at the top. Message. Well, you know, man. I don't know how to feel about this, man. I, I, I guess it was the right move. You know what I mean? I think either move would have been right. I don't know. Get in the comments. I'm the host of Grenade Got Thoughts. I don't know what the big camera. <laughs> if you're rocking with the big camera, make sure you subscribe. Click the notification bell. Tune into the podcast, Anchor FM, Spotify, the whole nine. If you didn't check out the live stream last night, go get a laugh in and have have a good show. Um, it's Carolina all day. Fuck what you think. My squad, man. My baby right here, man. Yeah, man. Let's get up out of here. Let the church say, damn. Be sure to check out On The Life Show Radio. Check out the latest Christian hip-hop slash R&B. Be sure to also subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hey.